All airplanes are made to carry something. People, cargo, or both. No matter what, there are steps to get an airplane built, checked, and put into service. Sometimes little or even huge problems slip through the process and can be deadly. United Airlines Flight 811 was a routine flight from Los Angeles to Sydney with intermediate stops in Honolulu and Auckland. The plane has already flown from Los Angeles to Honolulu and now is fueled and ready to head for Auckland. It was a full flight that evening and the plane was packed with people and lots of cargo. Modern day airliner jets have special equipment to keep the cabin pressure normal for the passengers. This put thousands of pounds of force on the doors of the plane. At the time of the flight, they were in the aftermath of Lockerbie, and the crew was more focused on making sure no one suspicious looking was boarding an attempt of attack, instead of what could possibly end their life. The flight had just taken off, and minutes later, there was a loud boom. At the right side of the airplane, just above the cargo door, had blown off, creating a huge, gaping hole in the side of the airplane. The change in cabin pressure to the outside caused anything that wasn't locked or bolted down to fly out. This included safety cards, napkins, pillows, people, and much, much more. The pilots and passengers in the upper deck had little to no clue what had happened, as they were too far from the accident to see the hole. The hole was sucking out anything that was impossible to hold to the aircraft, even though some were crucial to the pa passengers' survival. This included things like breathable air, oxygen masks, and correct air pressure. In total, nine passengers had been sucked out of the plane. This included people who were near the accident and their seat was entirely blown out, and people who did not have their seatbelts on. If you were lucky enough to survive, you still had a long, long journey ahead of you. When air is taken out of an airplane, it sucks out every little bit. This is because there's two different kinds of air pressure, breathable and unbreathable. It's the basic way. When the two collide, only one will win. Passengers, unfortunately, lost the battle. All of the air inside their lungs was sucked out. According to people, they said it felt like if you were getting punched in the stomach by the Hulk. So, this meant that the pilots had to make an emergency descent down to breathable air, still with no clue what the horror was awaiting. Once the pilots managed to get the airplane down to a breathable level of air, the flight engineer decided to go down and have a look at what was happening. When he went downstairs, he saw the entirety of the hole. He immediately knew the full gravity of this horrible, horrible situation. He then ran upstairs to the other pilots and explained to them what the horror he saw. The pilots then contacted HNL Tower, also known as Honolulu International Airport. The pilots were granted access as an emergency to land at the airport in whatever extent was needed. An investigation was conducted on the incident. It was found that the cargo door had opened mid-air and ripped a gaping hole in the fuselage. The basic latch for the 747 at the time was seen to be strong and safe, but really was weak due to the insufficient secureness. In total, there were nine deaths out of the plane. Although these were the only deaths, many people will always remember this horrific experience. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It means a lot. This video actually took me in total a few days to make. Um, it was not easy and I just am doing it for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and if I can get 10 likes on this, I'll make another video. I'll try to make another video on another airplane crash. Um, thank you so much again and have a good day.